All right, and welcome back. JT here, and this is for another Thrift Store Finds on Mondays, and I have about 20 records to show you. These are, uh, this is going to be more of a best of. Um, some of these records I've shown before, but I have a really nice grouping of records. I think you, uh, y'all gonna like these records. You like how I used y'all? <laughs> anyway... Oh, man, let me just get right into this. Uh, last week, I really got carried away. I think I showed about 30 records. So right off now, this is going to be a lot of 80s and new wave and synth pop and stuff like that. And I love it. So right off the bat, Eurythmics, guys. And in the 1980s, uh, you know, TV was so inundated with uh, Annie Lennox and Dave Stewart that I do appreciate... Um, her and uh, the Eurythmics much more now uh, than back then. It was just, uh, it was overload. But uh, great songs here. And this is a U.S. press. Let me go ahead and show you. Really happy to have this one. Um, all of these records are going to be about a $1.50 or a dollar. And a lot of these I found a long time ago. And what I mean about a long time ago is 10 years or, or more, uh, because the pickings were real good here in town, like uh, 2002 to 2014. Uh, vinyl was just plentiful. And uh, I was talking to uh, Mr. Hall of Fame, and he said he has his, his 80s cheese box. And back like in 05... Um, I had I put together a record box and I called it my uh, my '80s cheese box, but I soon realized that, you know, how can I say that? Because this music is just fantastic. It's just you know poppy, wonderful. There's Dave Stewart, and uh, yeah, I don't call it that anymore. But that was fun that uh, him and I got a kind of a kick out of that. So the Eurythmics. Once again, and now here's a, a an artist from uh, New York, and that's Garland Jeffries. And uh, this is the only record I paid three dollars for this. I um, there were a bunch of Garland Jeffries records. You know he does a really cool version of No Woman No Cry. And here, let me show you the hype. He does a cover of Ninety Six Tears. Really interesting artist. Uh, you know, new wave. Uh, late 70s, right into about 1981, but he was doing a lot of records in 78, 79, and 1980. And here's the songs. I really enjoy Garland Jeffries, and it's good to have his records. And next up, Suspicious Minds, Johnny Come Home, Couldn't Care More, and that's Fine Young Cannibals. Love this band. Absolutely. General Public, Fine Young Cannibals. Killer. Love it. And here's the songs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in captions because I want to get through these records. I like to do that every now and then. If you're not seeing them, uh, just click uh, CC. And they should pop up. It depends on what device. If you're on a big TV, uh, it, should, it should pop up. Because I do like to add more information. So the fine young cannibals. Gom with the wind. Ian, Ian Gom. And he does a cover of the, uh, of You Can't Do That. You know, the Lennon McCartney pen song. This is a good record. I spun this uh, about a week ago, and I just, I'm, man, I'm going to show this record next week. Gone with the Wind. And this is on, look at this. This is on Stiff. Epic. Pretty cool. And next up from San Diego. CA, Beat Farmers, love this band. Country Dick Montana, cool, cool band. Uh, Cowpunk, Rockabilly, New Wave, Rock and Roll. Good music. 
and there's the back cover. And this is, uh, that's a price tag from a long ago record store that's just no more, Mirabelli's. And this is on curb. Wow. Yeah, life in a northern town, guys. The Dream Academy. Love the video, love the song. When I heard the song, I just really fell in love with it when it first came out. This is the only Dream Academy I have. On CD, I have about two others. And there's the songs. Nice to have. And yes, <laughs> with the naked eye, Greg Kin had to show some Greg Kin. Absolutely great band. All of his records are, are very, very nice. Rock and roll, new wave. And there's the there's the boys. And this uh, look at that price tag. Yeah, and Roadrunners on here, Rendezvous, In the Naked Eye, Getting Away with Murder, Moulin Rouge, Besides Myself, An Another Lonely Saturday Night, Haircut 100, and when this record came out, man, I loved it, Love Plus One, I love that track, it was just so catchy and poppy and happy and cool, and a lot of local musicians right away learned it to cover it. So, uh, and that would be local musicians at Lake Tahoe. At North Lake Tahoe, there were a lot of good local bands uh, between Reno and Tahoe. So there they are. And the songs. And the first three tracks on this In Excess record, Listen Like Thieves, are just fantastic. This is... Uh, you know, often I'll play the first three tracks and, and lift the needle because uh, I just, you know, kick I'll listen to from uh, start to finish. But this record um, is probably my favorite. But those first three strong, uh, songs are just uh, strongs. No, songs are so are so strong that uh, I, I just love it. So listen like thieves. Back cover. I'm going to show you the boys in the band there. What a great band, huh? Fantastic. And this uh, I paid a dollar for, this Julian Cope EP. Very, very cool. It's a gold stamp promo. And I'll show you the songs on the back. This was a nice find because I, um, I had maybe one Julian Cope on CD and it was real cool to find the vinyl. Let me show you. There they are. World Shut Your Mouth. It's a big track. And you have uh, Levitation. Really good. And uh, One Thing Leads to Another and Saved by Zero, The Fix, Reach the Beach. And when this came out in 1982, it was all over the uh, FM radio and we loved it. I love this band. So cool. And I go, you know, drinking at night in the in the nightclubs uh, after skiing all day. And bands would be covering uh, both of these songs, Saved by Zero, but especially One Thing Leads to Another, The Fix. Great, great band. And in the mid-80s, I finally really, really got into Pet Shop Boys. Pet Shop Boys, please. And this is a gold stamp promo as well. Uh, again, all of these I found at my local thrift stores. Most of these uh, were quite a while ago. Some were kind of recent. Kind of. But there are True Blue 100% bonafide thrift store finds. And uh, Inner Sleeve. And uh, yeah, I mostly have U.S. press on a lot of these great uh, British bands. 
uh, because that's where I live out here on the West Coast. And uh, boy, I'd love to have UK Press uh, for this one as well. And uh, Sam St. John was talking about this record, and I have it in a near mint minus or a near mint to mint, and that's Tears for Fears, Songs from the Big Chair. And I love what they did later on in the, in the mid 80s with Woman in Chains and uh, Sowing the Seeds of Love. What a fantastic album. Uh, Mark from Mad for Vinyl was talking about how they got a little psychedelic on that record. I think that's my favorite Tears for Fears record. This, this music is just so creative and, and slight genius for real. And here's the songs. Mother's Talk? Wait, let me look real quick. Yeah, Mother's Talk. All right, Tears for Fears. And check it out, Human League. And this is Dare. This has a nice gatefold, I'll show you. And we hopefully are coming over to the UK. Uh, and I want to go to Ireland. I have to. My mother has cousins over there. Um, my mother's family hails from County uh, Donegal. And a lot of them moved down to uh, County Waterford around Kilmac Thomas, the small little uh, town uh, that's on the road to the west from Dublin. But uh, my son and wife really want to go to London badly. So I hope to go record shopping uh, there as well and possibly uh, ring up uh, some of you guys in the, in the VC. Now I got to show this because uh, I've shown it, shown it before. This is Pack Up the Plantation Live, TP, Tom Petty. This is one of my favorite Tom Petty albums. He covers needles and pins on here. Fantastic. The Waiting... Breakdown, American Girl, Insider, Rockin' Around With You, Don't Bring Me Down, You Got Lucky, Shout, Shout, Isley Brothers, right? Southern Accents, and I love that song, Refugee, and I Need to Know. Fantastic. And there they are. Waving that rebel flag, and you know, they didn't mean anything by that, like the boys in Skinnerd. Uh, really didn't mean anything that it's just more that they're from the south, you know, but uh, you know, eh, whatever. I'm not going to get into it, but oh, you know, I was so fortunate to see Tom Petty one time in 2002. Fantastic, expensive show. And the ticket was bought for me and I was right under my one of my guitar heroes, Mike Campbell. And when I played in a band, I, I just want to tell you. Uh, when I couldn't come up with, because um, I was the lead guitarist, couldn't come up with a, a hook or guitar riff, I would just think, well, what would Mike Campbell do, really? I mean, always, and it always came to me to throw in a little, you know, a little riff, a little lick, a little hook, as we say. So, now Sade, By Your Side, I love that single. And I love this cover. <laughs> Two. This is so clean. And uh, let me show you. All right. Sade. And Starfish, the church, under the Milky Way. What a great band. Very underrated. Most people know that uh, the church uh, records are just quality and great music. So happy to have this one and to show it in the vinyl community, and here on YouTube, and here's the uh, songs. And we got a starfish, and this is, uh, if anybody's watching in the UK, on Arista Records, US Press, a lot of these US Press sound nice, but yeah, you know, your UK press is going to sound better. And here's a record that I love, love this artwork. I'm a big fan of early 20th century American artist Edward Hopper. And look at this cover for OMD, Crush. 
you know, definitely a spinoff of uh, Edward Hopper paintings. And uh, love OMD. Here's that hype. Look at that artwork. And the songs. And again, this is OMD Crush. And Thompson Twins. This isn't their best, but man, I, I really dig Thompson Twins. Especially, I, I appreciate all of these bands so much more now. Uh, because we just, you know, we heard it over and over on the radio. And, uh, you know, a lot of times I was wanting to listen to other music than the, uh, you know, the, the cycle of songs. Uh, but uh, great music. There they are. And there's the songs. All right, I'm getting there. Almost done. And Eraser. Uh, great album. Ship of Fools, A Little Respect, Phantom Pride. Chains of Love, Hallowed Ground, Heart of Stone, Imagination, Weight of the World. I am fortunate to have three Eraser albums on vinyl. Really wonderful stuff. There's the songs. And last one, last one. This was a killer find. And Eddie Van Halen, his favorite song, and I'll tell you in a moment, his very, very favorite song, and his son, um, uh, Wolfgang, uh, talks about this. And that would be, uh, Eddie's favorite song was Red Rain by Peter Gabriel. And I found just such a very, very clean copy of So. Sledgehammer, love it. Don't get tired of it. And uh, let me show you the back here. And yes, it would be cool to have a UK press, but my... U.S. press records sound really very, very good, and most of them are very clean on Geffen Records. And uh, hey, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. I think I'm going to do uh, records in my collection and pick uh, cherry pick some really cool records for a Thursday or Friday video. Hey, thanks for watching. See you soon.